Hi. Well, something a little different today. Uh, just treating myself to this Yuhan Oxford Large Photo Backpack. Uh, it is allegedly waterproof. Uh, it's not stain proof though because I've even managed to stain it already. I only had it a, a week or so. And I was out with it yesterday giving it a, a good old trial run. And it performed very well. Uh, I was very impressed. It's quite handy, it's comfortable, and as you'll see in a minute or two, it does hold a reasonable amount of stock. I did think it was going to be slightly bigger. Um, I bought it through Amazon, and I did think it was going to be slightly larger than it actually is. But let's have a quick look around the outside anyway. First of all, the straps are superb, nicely padded, there's a good bit of adjustment in them, and you also have a waist strap, or a lap strap, and a chest strap. Now unfortunately, because I'm a particularly large bloke, uh, whilst the chest strap does work okay, the, the lap strap, uh, if I'm wearing a t-shirt, is fine, but if I've got any form of outside uh, clothing on, then I'm afraid it, it doesn't work so well. We have uh, a pocket on either side, with a, a uh, a mesh, two straps, and I use a, a Felbon, what is it now, EF61 tripod. It's not a fluid head, it's just a, a pan head. And that fits very nicely in the side. Uh, I'm using it to film at the minute, actually. Um, I wouldn't like to go much bigger, but uh, that one does fit nicely. And you can get a drinks bottle in there, no problem small thermos or a drinks bottle. It is pretty well designed. So now if we go around to the front we have here on the top a small pocket which I think is ideal for memory cards. I've got uh, a little memory card wallet packed tucked away in there. And then if we open it up, double zip round the side, this is very handy storage compartment. I've got my zipped pocket on the front there where I keep my uh, lens blowing equipment, lens cleaning equipment. Here we have, I have a, a screwdriver and a little spanner in there, pens, little notebook, small smartphone that I use with the Xiaomi Yi, and in the back where you can also store a reasonable size computer. I don't think you get a full size laptop in there but you'd certainly get a, an average sized um, tablet or what have you in there. I've got my white balance cards in there and it also comes with a, a waterproof cover. It's fully detachable unfortunately so if the elastic gets a bit weak there's a chance it'll blow off but uh, that comes with it. So that is all access from the front and now we go around to the business end which is for security reasons accessible from the back. Now this of course is where it all happens. Once again double zip. The zips do feel nice and smooth. Again we have a, a pocket on the inside of the, the back flap which folds down nicely. There's a, another mesh, a zipped mesh cover for additional security on the, the main part. And then in here, it comes with a number of dividers, which can be used in various formats. They're just Velcro, Velcro um, attachments. The way I have mine set up at the moment, uh, right at the top here, I've got a, a magic arm, a quick release bar for the various bits of equipment which I would normally use on the, on the tripod. And then waterproof jacket and trousers. Now if the forecast is pretty reasonable then you don't need to bother with those then there's enough room for a, a light lunch to go in there instead. But uh, there's a reasonable amount of space in there. Moving down we have a Rode Micro which fits in a pocket of its own and then next to that I've got a lavalier <coughs> dead cat for the Tascam which will be appearing in a minute 
another foam windshield for the uh, the Tascam. In the bottom, I have a Xiaomi and waterproof case for that, plus some spare batteries in that bag. In here at the moment, uh, there's just a mount for my smartphone, the big smartphone, just a standard mount for that. And normally, the Canon leg rear that I use to, to film the bulk of my stuff with would sit in this compartment. Uh, today I just got a, a mini tripod in there and a TCL SVC 200 which again I tend to carry around with me just for everyday instant use as it were. Over here small selfie stick <coughs> as I mentioned before the Tascam dr 5 this one which I use for a lot of the sound and then here is uh, enough room, bags of room in there for a handheld gimbal uh, JJ1 handheld gimbal which sits in there along with the adapter plate so I can use the Xiaomi on that as well so all in all you can get a fair bit of kit in there uh, obviously that's suited to my uh, normal shooting um, it's adjustable you can take these lengthways bars right up to the top if you want give yourself more room down the sides um, I've tried one or two combinations and this one seems to work out best for me so anyway that's a quick trip round it uh, it seems reasonable quality I've not had it that long as I said but it does seem reasonable quality it's comfortable to wear once you get it adjusted to, to suit um, and I have high hopes that it's uh, going to be a very useful piece of kit and just to close off, there's uh, a couple of shots of me trudging around yesterday with it on and uh, a couple of shots of it out in the open. Uh, all thrilling stuff, but uh, there it is anyway. So, that's about it for now. I'll uh, catch you on the next video. Bye for now.